And I, I like the I like the fake start in that record. Yeah. My life is, and then he goes again. My life is brilliant. My life is brilliant. Today we're going to play a new game on the channel, and to do that we have a special guest with us. This is Evan Gregory. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Oh, it's nice to have you here. Listen, now, uh, most of you probably know Evan and his work, but just for those who don't, what do you do? So I'm part of a group called the Gregory Brothers, and we're mostly known for our YouTube channel, Shmoyoho, where we created a series of videos called Auto-Tune the News. It's now Songify the News. And you might have seen videos that we did over the years, like the Bed Intruder song or the Double Rainbow song. Uh, wherein we take things that were never supposed to be a song and we make them into a song. Well listen, since we're both giant music fans, we thought we'd play a game of Name That Tune, it's gonna be the lyrics edition. Now Ben Churchill's here and he's gonna read us off some lyrics from the 80s, 90s, and the aughts, and we have to guess what they are and he's gonna give us multiple choices. How do you think you're gonna do, sir? I mean, I'm a musician, so I, I'm aware of music, I have a lot of knowledge of music, but I gotta be honest, I'm intimidated because as a blind person, I assume that your ear is so finely tuned and keenly aware of songs, I assume you're gonna kill me. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty much a groove-based guy, so we'll see how we go. Ben Churchill, you wanna take it away? Here we go, Let's, we're gonna start with the 90s. First song, there are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. <gasps> what do you think? You think you know what it is? I'm feeling pretty good about this. One, I have an image of listening to this song in my prom date's car. Is it Green Day with Basket Case, Third Eye Blind with Semi-Charmed Life, or Oasis with Wonderwall? Evan, just write your answer down. I'm trying to fake you out by writing a lot. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I just, I'm, Tommy can't put this over on me. I know he's gonna be counting my pen strokes. He's picking up on everything that I'm doing over here, so. <laughs> my guess is gonna be uh, Oasis and Wonderwall. I had Oasis too. That's correct. You both got it. Nice. All right, next song. Hunger hurts, but starving works when it costs too much to love. Alanis Morissette with You Oughta Know, Fiona Apple with Paper Bag, or The Cranberries with Linger. All right, write down your answer there, sir. I don't know. I'm gonna go with uh, The Cranberries and Linger. I put Fiona Apple. The correct answer is Fiona Apple. Oh, yes. Oh, nice one, dude, very oh, good. Feels so good. Only, <laughs> only she Chuck could- Chuck Mangione. <laughs> only she could write a lyric so pained. Next song. Fresh new kicks and pants. You gotta like it that now you know you wanna dance. Ooh. Is it Belle Biv DeVoe with Poison? <gasps> MC Hammer with You Can't Touch This? Or is it Criss Cross with Jump? You all set? All right, I, yeah, I got, I got an idea here. I think I know. I'm gonna go Criss Cross. I put Criss Cross. The correct answer is MC Hammer. <laughs> go on! Oh, I felt like I knew that song, but obviously there's some verses that were just, <laughs> they, were going, they were going right by. Dude, that must be from the 12 inch. <laughs> all right, here's the next song. Shake your head to the sound. Put your hands on the ground. We have Coolio with Gangster's Paradise, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson with Black or White, or Lou Bega with Mambo Number no. 5. I'm gonna say it's Black or White for Michael Jackson. I put Lou Bega. The correct answer is Lou Bega. Stop! <laughs> buh, 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 Where? Buh, buh, buh. What part? Oh. Shake your head to the sand, put oh. yeah. yeah, no, I have no idea when it comes to the song. I was just trying to imagine that lyric happening in any one of those songs. Yep. Definitely was not gonna happen in Gangster's Paradise. No At way. no point would Coolio tell you how to no dance. No way, no, 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 no. Okay, time for the 80s. Slow change may pull us apart when the light gets into your heart, baby. I do not know what this is, but something about that lyric is so 80s. Soft Cell with Tainted Love, Simple Minds with Don't You Forget About Me, or The Human League with Don't You Want Me. This one's a tough one for me. Oh, me too. This one is tough. And I've heard all three of these records a million times. Yeah, but you just, you only know the chorus. I'm gonna go with uh, Simple Minds and Don't You Forget About Me from The Breakfast Club. I went with The Human League. The correct answer is Simple Minds. Hey, all right, I got one. It's already happening. Tommy's clawing his way back in. <laughs> uh, next song, here we go. So glad we've almost made it. So sad they had to fade it. 
I love that rhyme. Rhyming made it with fade it. Oh, it's it's genius, right? It's so yeah. creative. <laughs> you never see it coming. <laughs> Is it Rick Astley with Never Gonna Give You Up? Duran Duran with Hungry Like the Wolf? Or Tears for Fears with Everybody Wants to Rule the World? I'm going with Everybody Wants to Rule the World from the great Tears for Fears. Man, you really sound confident. Songs from the big chair. Golly, I put Duran Duran. The correct answer? Tears for Fears. Come on, come on. Now we got a game. Oh, guys, it's Tommy's round. Here's the last song for the 80s. Emotions come, I don't know why. Cover up, love's alibi. I, I don't know, I feel like I'm in trouble. I gotta no, try, try to fit it into the choices here. Eurythmics with Sweet Dreams, Blondie with Call Me, or The Cure with Just Like Heaven. All right, I got an answer. I do too. I, I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna go with uh, Eurythmics and Sweet Dreams. I put The Cure. The correct answer is Blondie Dang. with Call Me. Nobody, oh. no point for that one. That's embarrassing. Is it more embarrassing for us or Blondie? <laughs> Here we go. The aughts, that's what we call it, right? Yep, the aughts. You own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. I think I know this one. Do you? Yeah. Here we go. Is it Snoop Dogg with Drop It Like It's Hot? Is it Justin Timberlake with Sexy Back? Is it Eminem with Lose Yourself? Wow. You locked in? Yep. I'm gonna go with JT and Sexy Back. I put Eminem. The correct answer is Eminem. Oh. You won't even wanna never let it go. Nice one, nice. Okay, here we go, next song. If I'm alive and well, will you be there holding my hand? See the way he puts the accent on Rourke's syllable like that, it's pretty funny. <laughs> is it Snow Patrol with Chasing Cars? <gasps> is it The Killers with Mr. Brightside? Or is it Three Doors Down with Kryptonite? Hmm. Ooh, he's got one. I'm, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I'm gonna go with uh, The Killers and Mr. Brightside. Uh, I know this one, and it's Three Doors Down. The correct answer is Three Doors Down. Oh. Ben, I would actually took me longer than it sh should have because of your very tricky reading. <laughs> it was duplicitous in nature, <laughs> the way you were putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> Here's the next one. And I don't know what to do, because I'll never be with you. That Ooh. one is so vague and generic. That could sure, be in like any, any song. <laughs> that could be in any song. Is it plain white tees? Hey there, Delilah. Kings of Leon, use somebody. James Blunt, you're beautiful. Okay, the choices really helped me on this one. I, I can't be totally confident because I do not know that lyric, but I know the character of each of those three songs. Me too. I'm gonna go play my tease and hey there, Delilah. I went with James Blunt. Of course you did, that's right. The correct ah. answer, James, James Blunt. Blunt. Oh. Right, here we go, last one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God. Let's do it. And do it. Oh. And do it. Let's live it up. I totally have this one. I don't know this one. Come on. Beyonce, single ladies, the black eyed peas, I got a feeling. Usher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you got it, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It was only number one for 10 weeks. And I'm going to go with I Got a Feeling from the Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas, I got it. Let's do it, 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 let's do it. Let's, do it. let's live it up and live it up. Mazel, Mazel top. Top. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Evan is the winner. Mm. Wow. Nicely done, my friend. Wow, thank you. Very thank good. You. I never thought that I would say thank you to Three Doors Down, but thank you. <laughs> they helped you. For, that was that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, put me into that final lead. Well, this was so much fun. Thanks, Evan, for being a part of this. And don't forget to go and check out the, the Gregory Brothers and all the stuff that they do. And if you're not a subscriber, please go on ahead and do that. Man, thanks for having me. This is a blast and incredibly gratifying. Because you won, you creep. <laughs> yeah. How dare you win on my own channel? <laughs> I felt like the pants would have been would have been a giveaway on that one because he's known for wearing those crazy pants. The hammer pants. Well, yeah, yeah. but but don't we all wear pants, really? <laughs>
crisscross. They had they their were own. Backwards. They were wearing backwards pants. Uh, that's a whole style they wanted to draw attention to. They might be rapping about their pants. Or crapping about their pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Boy. You set me up. What am I supposed to do? 